welcome back to Colouring with Amy. Hope you're all well. The weather here is miserable. It's been really, really rainy today. Um, so that's not good. I hope all your colouring has been going well. I haven't done as many pages this month, but I've been working on quite a few double page spreads. So I think that's why I've not got as many pages done. Do double, do double pages count as two pages? I think they probably do. So I maybe done more than I think. Anyway, this is, I can't even remember what part this is, probably parts five or six of my completed Johanna Basswood pages. And today, I think this is the final one, my Worlds of Wonder book. And I think this one's my favourite Johanna Basswood book. So let's get started. So this is the title page. And I think at the when I did this, I had just got my Pentel Dual Hybrids. And so this gold is Pentel Dual Hybrid, this silver is Pentel Dual Hybrid, this red is Pentel Dual Hybrid, this silver is Pentel Dual Hybrid. And then I think the rest of it is all Black Widow pencils. And I, was, I think I was inspired by a, um, a picture I had seen on Pinterest. Um, so yeah, that's that's the title page. And I actually really like the way this one turned out. I really like the kind of cloud background. I really like the balloons. And I think I've done a couple of the vignettes in here as well. Yeah, I did. And these were done with, I think, my Arteza Expert. Not my ex my premiums, which are the triangular barrel ones in the tube. So that's that. I like the little heart that's just red there. And then I've actually done this page as well. Um, I really like the way this one turned out. It's really simple. I like the flowers, which have got white around them. Just like the colour combos I use. I think this is polychromos, looking at the colours. Some Posca highlights in there as well. I just think it just looks really pretty. Um, and the green balance of the leaves is quite nice as well. And then I think this is one of the first pages I ever did in this book. Um, and again, I just really like the colours. I like the balloons, just really simple. I think this is probably my Arteza premium pencils again. So I think I probably got them around the same time. Because I think Johanna was using a lot of those in her uh, demos for this book and I really fancied them so that's that there's so many amazing images in this book like this one I love this image but I'm a bit too scared to do it in case I mess it up um again my daughter's done this page and I'm going to show it in my completed pages in July hers is amazing and Johanna Basford actually commented it on Instagram love this page the unicorn was horse isn't it actually Love this page. I've seen this done brilliantly. Epic double page. Oh, this is one of my favourite pages. I've done one like this in the first days of creativity and I might now feel brave enough to tackle this one. But I love this page and I love this page. I just haven't tackled them so I'm so scared of messing them up. I love these two. I just love, practically love every single page in this book. I've done this. This was in her free download book during lockdown. It's in Flourish. And I have actually done this one. But I quite like that it's in her book. Um, sorry, we are guessing there. I have done a few complete pages in this book. Okay. So this is one. A couple that I've done. They're quite nice. Quite ne nice being next one there. So this is one of the first pages I tackled in this book. And I really like the pink island. So I've got my Pentel Jewel Hybrids in there again with the contrast of the green on the grass and i've got some little pink leaves i've got a blossom tree up here my flying fish again it all just matches and i did a cloud background with the stencil that i made i think there's a very pale yellow at the top as well and i think i think this is with my auto user premium as well and i just love it i think it it just all the colors just go so well together and I've got, there's some um, fine liners in here as well. That's what all these dots are around the little, are they stalactites? Is that what they are? I'm not sure. But that's that one. This one I did this year. Um, and in the background is acrylic magic fly iridescent paint. And then over this is some stickles glitter gel. I did stick some stars on here, but a lot of them have fallen off. Which is a shame, really, because that was it was they were really pretty when they worked. Then inside this circle is near colour twos. Um, I can't remember what pencils I use. I always I do. They, this is polychromos inside the flamingos. Then the tops of these are 
um, Pentel Jewel Hybrid as a glitter. Um, I really like the way this page turned out. I was beginning to understand how to use my Neo Color 2s, that's for sure. And I just love all the sparkle, and I was very purple and pink at that stage. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. It did go through. I did not do very well, but I should be able to cover that, cover it up. And this one I did at the end of last year. I didn't want my mushroom to be normal red. I wanted it to be red, orange, and yellow. I love these flowers on the top. I love these flowers. I just love my colour combinations in this. Again, these is Arteza Premium. I can tell by the colours. Um, and then I used Distress Oxide in the background. Um, and then I rubbed some circles out with some baby wipes and then put some stickles on. Just to make it a little, more, a little bit more magical. I actually did this one in Flourish as well and it looked very different. Um, I'll have to see if I can find that one out. But yeah, that's that one. Then I think this was like the second page that I ever did in this book. And I knew I wanted it to be like... Um, the When Hannah did the free advent calendar, I and there was lots of little pictures on an A4 sheet. And I divided it up into little squares. And I decided that's exactly how I wanted this one to be. So that each one could be a picture on its own. And I had a lot of fun with this when I did it. Again, I used Arteza Premium. I've created a ward effect here. So the letters were on a table. Um, I created this here. I created the brick wall. And I drew the washing line and the clothes in. Um, here I drew the rainbow. I made this one look as though it had snow. I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, lots of Posca. It was just, it was such a lot of fun. I had to draw the grid lines, draw the grid lines with pencils. But yeah, I really like the way that turned out. It's just a really colourful page, and I've seen a few people do it like that. Um, what's that one? This one. So my daughter got this book as well, and. She says, Mummy, I want us to do this page together. So I did. And I always knew I wanted my swan to be black. So and she was using fine liners. So she wanted me used to use the same. So the swan is fine liners, Pentel Jewel Hybrid. Um, the flower, like stained glass windows, are a um, mixture of gel pens and Pentel Jewel Hybrid. The background, so the yellow and the pink, is actually um, Stedler Norris water uh, watercolour pens, pencils. Um, and I just wanted a really subtle pink and yellow in the background behind all the black. And I really like the way this one turned out. I love the saddle. I just love the, you know. If I did it again, I might do the swan white. Um, but, yeah, for me, it's just a really bold page. Um and I really like it. What else have I done? I need to do some more in this book. And this was an utter fail. <laughs> um, I really like the way the van turned out. And the, the sweets and the bottles. You know, this bottle here has worked out really well. It looks like a bottle. And I like the leaves and the wheels. And I like what I did with the menu sign. But then I completely and utterly messed up the background you know, completely and totally. I knew I want. I, I just really wanted it to be a night scene with fireworks, but I did it with Neo Color Two, and it was really weak. And actually, I should no, I didn't. Did I? Don't, no, it looks as though it's with um, ink tents, but the black wasn't black enough, and I should have gone in again with the ink tents to blacken it up even more. And then the fireworks sensor that I had didn't work properly. I mean, you can see them, but it doesn't look brilliant. And then I thought, I do what I normally do when I screw up a page. I just threw a load of glitter at it. So it's not my favourite. Wouldn't do it again like that. Um, there's elements of I really like. I really like the cat. The cat looks lovely. Um, but I think this would be polychromos. But yeah, not my favourite page. I think... Oh, no, I've got one. Then I've got the camel page. Um, this again, I started with my daughter. This is with Arteza Premium and the background is near colour too. So I knew I wanted him in a desert with some sand dunes and I knew I wanted a sunset sky. Um, I definitely did not know how to use my near colour twos at this point. So although, you know, it's very colourful, it looks pretty, 
Again, I'd probably do it quite differently next time round. But you live and learn. I quite like the sunset going up, but yeah, I need I needed more practice with my near colour twos at this point. But that's okay. This is one of my favourite pages. Um, I really, really, really enjoy doing this. I just got my Arteza metallic watercolours. So each of these tickets has um, Arteza metallic watercolour on it. Except for this one, which I think these stripes are Pentel dual metallic. Um, and these are definitely, this is definitely Arteza premium again. And it's just really shimmery, really pretty. I just loved this doing this page. Absolutely loved it. It just came together so beautifully. Um, yeah, I think Hannah really enjoyed this when she did it too. Um, I had a lot of fun. Um, and I really enjoyed using my Arteza metallic watercolours. And I've noticed that they don't seem to be on sale on the Arteza website anymore. So when they run out, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I could get some Windsor and Newton ones or I could get some Paul Rubens. But I honestly, I love the Arteza metallic watercolours. So I'm very going to be very sad if they don't reinstate those. Um, so that's that one. And that might, oh no, there's this one. Um, again, I went for a very similar colour with my floating island. So it's a bit of purple. There's some Pentel Dual Hybrid here. The stars have stuck on much better this time for the background. The background is a black acrylic paint. The moon is a Pentel Dual Hybrid. Um, and I just really, really like it. It's very simple. Again, I love the contrast of the green and the purple and the pink. Um, yeah, the stars in the background are really sparkly. And they've stayed on much better than they did. Maybe it's the acrylic paint that makes them stick better than on Neo Colour 2s, which was probably a bit wet. Well, that's a learning curve. That's something I've just noted. Um, yeah, really, really like that one. Very simple. Didn't feel as though it needed anything else. Um, so that's that one. And I think I might... Oh, no, I have got another one. I think this is the final one in this book. So I started this at the same time that Johanna was doing it on her channel um, and I, so again this would probably be with Arteza Premium and that's really interesting that I've used Arteza Premium pretty much for all of this book mm, I will have to think about that because again I can't get Arteza Premium on the Arteza website at the moment either they're all sold out I managed to get um, a 72 set of Arteza Expert off Marketplace so when my, because I've got one set already, but some of the pencils are quite, quite short. So I managed to get a brand new set off Arte's market, uh, sorry, Facebook Marketplace for a really good price. Um, so I might need to do the same with the premiums because they're, they're just sold out on Arteza and they just can't tell me when they're going to be back in stock. So yeah, so anyway, this is Arteza Premium for the, the island and the trees and everything. Um, the cave went hideously wrong um and then the background is um cloud soft pastel template wasn't brilliant didn't do so well with that um but it's okay one of the probably third image or something i did in this book it's okay not my favorite and that is worlds of wonder i'm gonna have to do some more i'm gonna have to do an image in that in august i think um so i'm feeling as though i need to anyway I think that is my final part of my Johanna Bassett books. I might move on to my Rita Berman's next. Um, but thank you for watching. Please do like. Please do subscribe if you haven't before. It really helps my channel. Um, lovely to see you all. Thank you for watching if you're new. Thank you for coming back if you're a returning subscriber. Um, I hope you keep well. Keep going with your colouring. Enjoy.